Spotlight, we're gonna go over our dual fueler kit for the 6.7 Power Strokes. So I'm gonna kind of walk over or walk through the model years and everything and kind of get into the nitty gritty of all this and what's all obviously included in the kit. So we offer it with a pump and this is a brand new Bosch pump. There's actually no core on this pump. So if you purchase a dual fueler kit with a CP3, it is a brand new CP3, it's not a reman. Or you can purchase it without. So if you have a Stroker CP3 pump that you wanna run from Exergy or SNS or any other manufacturer that does modified pumps, um, you can purchase the kit without, without a pump. Uh, we'll kind of go down the line here. So obviously this is a CP3, it's a genuine Bosch pump. Moving down, we have the bracket to mount the pump to the front cover. The one thing with the bracket that sets this kit apart from some of the other kits in the industry is this is a 3 8 thick plate. It's not a quarter inch, it's 3 8 thick, very heavy duty. Uh, the back side, we actually have a, a lug on it for one of the idler pulleys and on the back side, it actually goes through and is then TIG welded, all done in house. Um, down the line here, we have the mounting hardware for the bracket and the pump. We have the low pressure fuel system. So the low pressure fuel system connections are gonna vary depending on the model year. So 11 to 19 will actually be connecting via our DPK kit. So if you have our disaster prevention kit, this is gonna be the easiest way to hook this up. So we provide you with all the fittings, six foot of push lock hose with a 350 PSI burst pressure. So it's more than, more than able to handle uh, factory pump pressures. Uh, as I said, we include all the fittings to connect. So you'll get a new exo filter lid. You'll get all, obviously your pump fittings, your uh, dash six push lock hose ends and the adapter fittings to make the DPK kit that you have work. So basically what it'll do is in your DPK kit where the line comes out of the fuel filter housing, there's a fuel manifold down there, there are auxiliary ports. So we give you a fitting for that to run a fuel supply to the CP3. And then the exo filter lid changes and there's an extra fitting in the top of that for the return. Now, if you have a 20 plus truck, there are options there as well. So. If you're running an aftermarket lift pump, you can purchase our T-manifold by itself. And that T-manifold with these fittings will allow you to connect the feed and the return. So um, you would still need to utilize our exo filter, which you can purchase that by itself if you, if you don't have one. Um, we also have another option for the 20 plus, which is our cap fuel system. So our cap fuel system also comes with that same T-manifold and would hook up in a very, very similar manner. So obviously you're gonna have, you know, being that these kits are gonna support higher power levels on built engines and people wanting to really push the limits of the truck if you have bigger injectors and, you know, all that, there is enough stuff here supplied to do a custom setup. So if you do wanna hook up, um, you do wanna, you have, say you have a completely custom low pressure fuel system, there is enough fittings and everything supplied here to make that work. So moving down the line, we have the, we have obviously the belt, proper length for the kit. We have a wiring splitter harness for the volume control valve on the CP4. And then we also have two different pulley options. So we have an anodized black. These are billet, eight rib design, and you can get them in clear anodized or black anodized. So that pretty much covers the basis of this kit and the components that you're gonna need uh, and, and, and receive to put it on. So now we're gonna kinda talk about why you may want this kit, some of the information on it. All right, I thought this was important to add in here because I know that we're gonna get asked this a lot. So I have some questions that I know customers are gonna ask. The first one is- You could have introduced yourself. Oh, sorry. I'm Amy, <laughs> sorry, um, anyway. I'm Amy at SP. Anyway. Um, okay, so one of the questions is, um, what horsepower does this support? Like, when do I wanna so, buy this? So basically the whole idea behind a dual fueler or a larger CP4 
is you're increasing fuel volume. So that's all you're doing with this kit. That's all you're doing if you modify a CP4 with a 55 over or a stroker. You need more fuel volume to make more horsepower. So that's what you're doing. So say, say you have a 15 truck and you're able to make say 600 horsepower. If you wanna go beyond that, you're gonna need more fuel volume. So this is basically a secondary option to running, say, a modified CP4, whether okay. it be a stroker. So you don't need a modified CP4 to run this? Absolutely not. Okay, no. then what if you have a modified CP4 and you add this? So then you start getting into whether or not you actually need this. So okay. if you have a modified CP4, say a stroker, um, you're gonna be able to do 750, 800, maybe even 800 horsepower. So at that point, you have to look at the amount of air that you have or your turbo system and the, the overall power goal. So if you want to make a thousand horse, you're still going to need a dual fuel. So if you want to go to a thousand horsepower, even if you already have modified CP4, you're going to need the dual fuel kit. So really anytime you go to that eight, 900 horsepower range, this is kind of a necessity. All right. Um, another question I know we get asked is do I need bigger injectors or can I run my stock injectors? Good question. So, so obviously, once again, you're you're down to um, how the injectors controlled and tuning. That's a that's a big thing. And there's a, there's a very large misconception with, uh, unfortunately, how people sell injectors, uh, tuning as well. So, you have people who automatically assume that you need a higher percentage over injector to make power, which up to a certain point, yes and no. So a stock injector in these trucks with proper tuning, you can get about 800 horsepower pretty reliably. Like I said, this is all gonna be very dependent on the tuning. Once you wanna go beyond that, that's when you have to start looking into a percentage over, a larger percentage over injector. Okay. And there's a lot of variables that come into play with that, so I would, if you're looking to make that investment, even, even on one of these kits, I recommend calling us so that we can discuss your whole setup. Okay, that was because, what I was gonna say. Yeah, because there's so many variables that come into play, whether it be what turbo you have, whether you have a dual fuel or not, if you have to, you know someone supporting you with tuning that's capable of tuning that, you know your motor's built or not, those are all variables that kind of come into play when you start talking those higher power levels. Okay, so if someone's gonna call in, what things do you think is important for them to tell the team for help of if they should buy this or what they should buy? So I would start off with telling them what's like, whether it's Chance or Kyle, whoever it may right, be. Right. I would start off with basically telling them where the truck sits as it, as it is currently. And then the goal? Modification wise, and then move into where you wanna take it. Okay. So that will that will help keep our salesmen from selling you something that you don't need. Okay. And not that they would do it on purpose because they didn't know you had it. You right. Know? So uh, the best thing to do is kind of explain to them what all you've done to the truck currently, or, or if this engine's in something else, whatever it may be, what's done to it. You know, what, what's your air, what's your fuel right setup now. currently, okay. and then tell them what the goal is and where you kind of want to be with it. You know, if some people will pick a number out of thin air, mm -hmm. you know, and just say, oh, I want a thousand horsepower, which is fine. But s most of the time those people will lose their minds once you tell them what you have to do to get to that point. Well, and also it's not always reliable. So knowing they're, what they're actually trying to do well, with it that's is helpful. Exactly. So that would bring, bring me to my next thing. So tell them where the vehicle's at currently, what your goal is, and then what you're doing with it. That's like probably one of the most critical things because you can pull a power number out of thin air, but if you want to make 1500 horsepower, but you're like, Oh, I have a, you know, 40 foot camper that I load to the gills and I need to go up a 12% grade. And I have to do it. And, and, and I have to do it. You know, um, obviously that's not something you want to do. You okay. know, it, it, it makes the vehicle a lot less reliable. There's a lot more failure points. You know, the, the more that you modify it, that's something that you and, and, and you guys as customers need to understand that the further you take that power number up, 
the less reliable things get. It's just mechanical. It's just the mechanical aspect of it. It's physics. So um, you, you have a, a higher tendency of failure. You know, it's, it's a lot more common. It's easier to happen. So. All right. Last question. Mm -hmm. What if you have a dual alternator truck? Can okay. you run this and how, if so, so how? The position that the dual fueler sits in, and this is the same with everybody's kids, uh, it does sit in the secondary alternator position. So you will have to uh, change some of the wiring. You can remove it and it is possible. Uh, it does require some other things that you'll have to do to make it work. But yes, it does work. Okay. You can make it work. Okay. So. I think those are the most common questions we're gonna hear. All right, so is there any other questions? Um, I think those are the most common questions we're gonna get. Okay. So. As I said just a second ago, I would recommend if you're getting into a kit like this, give us a call. So, you know, the, the biggest thing is, is we wanna make sure that you're not double buying things or, or, or buying stuff you don't need. Mm -hmm. um, give us a call and we can go over all that information with you, talk to you about your setup, what, what you're actually gonna need to accomplish your goals. That's, I think, the biggest thing. So, if you have any questions just regarding this kit or anything else that we sell, Feel free to reach out via social media, email, give us give us a ring. Anything you need. You know, if you got questions, you can you can you can get to us pretty easily through any of those channels. So we appreciate you tuning in on this and we'll catch you on the next one.